Good afternoon, this is Michaela Tennyson with grain commentary for the market week ending November 22nd. This week, corn futures finished down 2 cents, soybeans finished down 19 cents, and wheat finished up 11 cents. Last weekend was a good weekend for harvest as farmers were going strong until rain hit our area on Sunday Sunday afternoon. USDA puts corn harvest at 76% complete compared to the 5-year average of 92% complete. Domestic demand remains strong while global demand for U.S. corn is still pretty poor and seems to be overpriced compared to competitors. Funds remain short, which leaves the market at risk for short covering at any time. Weekly export inspections were at 637,000 metric tons, which is behind the needed pace. Farmers also seem to be able to get some soybeans off of the fields this weekend, but that was also put to a halt from the rain. USDA had soybean harvest at 91% complete, with Wisconsin being one of the states furthest behind. Global and domestic demand for beans remains quite strong. China is continuing to battle African swine fever, and the soybean market is trying to figure out just how much of an impact it had, has had on Chinese soybean and soybean meal demand. Phase 1 is still talked about pretty frequently, but doesn't seem to be very close to being agreed on, as it doesn't appear that either side will give. President Trump stated that he will enact additional tariffs if an agreement isn't signed by December 15th. Funds are carrying a small, net long position. Weekly export inspections were strong this week at 1.5 million metric tons, which is ahead of the needed pace. U.S. winter wheat seeding is pretty much complete, and we will find out how many acres were planted on the report coming out in January. USDA puts winter wheat planting progress at 95% complete. The wheat market is choppy from day to day and seems to need some help from another market to get out of this trend that it has been stuck in. Weekly export inspections were at 449,000 metric tons, which is slightly ahead of the needed pace. The market is closed on Thanksgiving and will reopen at 8.30 Friday morning with an early close. Thank you for listening to this week's market update and and stay safe if you go out hunting this weekend.